Hi, my name is Shannon Fritz, and I would like to go over with you a couple of quick tips inside of Windows 8 that I think you'll find really interesting. And by the end of the video, you'll have a single file that you can mount as a drive letter, but be required to enter a password in order to access the content. Um, one of the things that they added inside of Windows 8 that it leads to kind of where we're going here is uh, the fact that you can now natively mount ISO images by simply double-clicking them. No more third-party tools or needing to extract ISOs anymore. Uh, you just go ahead and double-click on it and Windows mounts that under a virtual drive. Um, so I have a virtual DVD drive here. Uh, access the contents of this ISO image and you can install the application or whatever and when you're done you simply right-click and choose eject and then that drive letter is unmounted um, and and the uh, ISO image is free to be moved or deleted. Um, with our purpose here, the ISO image is a little bit limiting because it's a disk image of a DVD, so it can't be written to. It's by nature a read-only format. So what we need instead is a virtual hard drive instead of a virtual DVD drive, and that's a VHD or a uh, VHDX file inside of uh, Windows 8. So we go ahead and create that from Disk Manager, and here's another neat tip inside of Windows 8. In the Start menu in the corner here, you just right-click on it and get this awesome jump menu that has a bunch of stuff that you'll be using over and over again, like getting the command prompt and the com control panel. But we're going to go right here to the Disk Management, which opens up the console here, and you can see uh, just the, the one physical C drive that I have here um, in this particular computer. But you have uh, the Actions menu where you choose Create VHD, and this wizard will ask you where do you want to put this virtual hard drive so we'll hit browse and I actually have a uh, directory on my C drive called VHDs and I'm going to create a portable disk and I'm going to make one that's just one gig in size for this example now the disk format you can choose VHD or VHDX and like I was saying the VHDX is new for Windows Server 2012 and Windows 8 uh, allows you to create disks that are up to or, and beyond uh, two terabytes in size I'm just doing one gig so VHD is going to be adequate and then for the disk type I'm actually going to choose a dy dynamically expanding disk if I were to use a fixed disk it would actually create a file that would be one gigabyte in size. Um, with a dynamically expanding it'll only be as big as the content um, that is put on the virtual hard drive. So you can see that the file it creates is only eight kilobytes and there's nothing on it. It's really just an empty container. Now that the disk has been created we just right click on here and you initialize it and you get to choose if it's going to be a GPT or an MBR disk. Again since it's going to be smaller than two terabytes MBR works out just fine. So then we can create a simple volume which will actually give it a drive letter. We're going to use the entire contents of the disk and mount it on the E drive and then we'll call it a portable disk. And then I have a uh, drive that gets mounted and then here is my E drive and I can go ahead and do things like uh, create documents on here I can uh, type in some information and then when I close and save that content that gets put on the disk and if I want to maybe put some pictures or something on there I can copy these files and paste them into my uh, my new virtual hard drive and then these files I don't have to do anything to save them because they're written to a hard drive. They've been saved. So I don't have to do anything uh, when I'm done with this disk other than just right click and eject it. And now that VHD uh, right here can be moved and, and put any place that I want. So let's say I want to put it maybe on a, a file share, right? I have a file server here um, and I want to uh, move this VHD out there and now I can double click this VHD from any other computer that has access to that file share. And again, I can read and write the content in here. I can um, add some stuff to it or maybe I just delete a file. Um, and then that content on that network share is uh, updated with that now, same story, if I go to computer, I can right click and eject it, and then that file will be uh, unmounted and I can mount it from another computer. Now, let's say one of my concerns is that I don't want people to access the content of the disk when it's out there on the network. I want them to have to enter a password. So what you can do is simply right click on the drive and choose turn on BitLocker. BitLocker is Microsoft's encryption product that is now included with Windows 8 Professional Edition. It used to only be in Enterprise, but now it's in Professional and Enterprise. Um, if you don't have this menu when you uh, right-click on the drive, you may have to go into the Start menu um, and type in BitLocker and 
under settings you go to drive encryption and this little wizard will show you your hard drives and we can choose to turn on BitLocker and it'll ask me what password do I want to use so we'll go ahead and put in a password and when you click next it's going to ask me where I want to put a recovery key and a recovery key is really important because if I forget my password I can use this file in order to recover that hard drive or basically reset uh, what that password is going to be so I'm going to go ahead and put this on my C drive and it'll complain because it's not a different computer uh, but when you go ahead and click on next and it'll encrypt that drive uh, now I get this little pop up and it goes through the encryption fairly quickly because my file is very small even large hard drives don't encrypt quite quickly and now my E drive shows a little lock on it which indicates that this is an encrypted drive um, doesn't behave any different from the user perspective I can still go ahead in here and make changes to the files I can uh, add or remove files from this list and uh, doesn't do anything differently I can still just right click and eject it and then I would be able to uh, go back to that file share and double click on that uh, document or that file and it mounts it but this time it says it's BitLocker protected so when you click on that message you can type in the password that you set and it'll go ahead and unlock that virtual hard drive and you'll be able to uh, treat it just like you have been where you can uh, add content or remove content uh, to that, that disk so I think that's really, really useful. I mean, you can still uh, eject this and then move it back to your computer. You can move it to a thumb drive, or heck, you can even take the thing and stick it up in SkyDrive, and now you've got a VHD hosted out in the cloud, but protected with a, a password. So I think it's uh, really, really useful. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you do too. Enjoy.